When the USS Iowa battleship sailed out of Sassoon Bay's mothball fleet for restoration in Richmond last fall, it carried with it the ghosts of a dark day in naval history. Let us mark this moment. On April 19, 1989, an explosion in the Iowa's gun turret 2 killed 47 members of the crew, ending its decades of service. Right. Peace. But after more than 20 years in naval purgatory in Sassoon Bay, survivors of that tragic day returned to the ship to mark the explosion's anniversary on board for the first time. EMFA Dwayne Collier Battle. I was right next to the turret when it exploded. My space filled up with smoke. I got in fire gear and I went into the turret. The hellish scene is burned into the memory of crew member Michael McIntaggart. And it was dark, it was smoldering still, and there was bodies lying around and we, we put the fire out. When it exploded, nobody knew exactly what it was. Um, but we knew something was wrong. Today, crew members read the name of the 47 dead, the tolling of the bell for each. It's the first time you've been able to get on board the ship on April 19th, and there's a lot of closure that comes with that. But along with closure came a flood of 23 years worth of painful memories. You do kind of deal with survivor's guilt. I think anybody who survives a tragedy does. And sooner or later, you have to come to grips with the fact that it's not my fault that I survived. The famous battleship is undergoing restoration in Richmond before heading to Los Angeles to become a floating museum. It's a pilgrimage crew members say is the most fitting tribute of all. So right after this ceremony, I'm going to get back on my coveralls and I'm going to go to work. Because that's what they would want, and that's what I want. Joe Rosado, Jr., NBC Bay Area News.